Yeah, Ellis Coleman here after uh, World Olympic Games qualifier. Uh, you know, one on one on the day, obviously not the day you wanted, but uh, take me through your day a little bit. Just talk about your wrestling and the experience you got out there. Um, uh, it's been quite a while since I've been out there, so uh, I don't even remember the last time, but my last international competition, um, probably three or four years ago. Uh, I was just trying to get right back to what I knew, um, you know, keep my weight good, uh, go out there, you know, push the pace and do what I'm good, what I'm best at, get on top, try to score and then defend. Um, I don't even, I'm lost for words for this one. Uh, my first one, uh, tough, solid competitor, uh, Belarus, uh, won that match, it was chippy, and then the second match, uh, I think I did a little too much on my feet, um, overzealous attacking, um, but I know the one thing that I, that I know for sure that I was bringing to the tournament that I didn't have every single previous competition, you know, in the years back was uh, parterre, defense. Um, I lost a lot of matches in parterre, um, overseas, you know, to the foreigners uh, particularly, and uh, I've been defending pretty well since I've been back. Um, I don't think uh, I don't think I've been turned since I've been back, including trials and, and, and uh, this tournament too. So every chance I've been down, you know, that's normally been my kryptonite. Uh, overseas, I've always been turned. I've always been winning every single match and went down and went turned and got turned. So my best aspect and attributes are my feet, pushing the pace, being able to go hard. And I got a little too overzealous, gave up some points off all of my attacks and. Um, Went down, you know, was able to defend turns and stuff like that. So I think that uh, maybe if I just keep pushing the pace, you know, had a more solid game plan with with my confidence and being able to defend people now, um, definitely could have uh, had a better tournament. When you think back on, on your journey back, your progress, your growth, you know, over the last four years, I think 2019 was your last international tournament. That's yeah. five years ago, right? And yeah. From then till now, like, how do you assess that journey to the like, um, I think that, uh, you know, you always think that the next time that you get to do something, you know, that it's going to be better. It's going to be better. Every single time you think the next time it's going to be better. Um, I, uh, and I, I'm really confident in, in how, how good my, you know, my defense is and has been. So, uh, I think that, you know, I line up pretty solid all, you know, whenever, you know, I don't care what the time frame is, you know, what the competition is. I always line up pretty solid against it and across from me. And, uh, Definitely 2019, um, I know for sure I'm a much better wrestler, especially in parterre than I was back then at that time, Every any year previous to that to that year. Um, my feet, I'm still, you know, I can still push the pace and do the same things I do on my feet. Um, so, I mean, 20, 2024 Ellis could definitely be 2019 Ellis. It's just that what can I keep adding, you know, what can I add to my game or what can I use to improve? But, um, you know, I'm gonna take some time, you, uh, get with my fam, let my body heal and, uh, you know, see what, what, what the future holds. Yeah, so any plans at this point on what you want to do in the future? Uh, no, nah, no plans right now. Um, I'm praying a lot, so uh, talking to God, see what uh, what we can come up with, and, um, you know, talk with my family. And, uh, you know, uh, I got a lot of guys on my team that make me want to keep wrestling. You know, I got Dalton Roberts, I got Kamal Bay, you know, Justice Scott, you know, um, Billy Sullivan, it's a lot of young guys, uh, WCAP program, and it's hard to just walk away and leave those guys alone. You know, I spent so much time with these guys and invested so much in myself, and they invested so much of themselves in me that, you know, I want to I wanna win with those guys, you know. Um, and, you know, life is different these days. You know, technology, resources, uh, you could stay around much longer than you could back then, and I, I think that, uh, you know, the will to be able to stay around and being capable of being able to, you know, Com compete and continue at a, at a uh, older age is uh, it's all mental you know some people go all the way some people can um, and uh, you know I'm, I'm praying you know on, on this decision and we'll you know we'll take it from there. I did want to ask you about your team I mean the whole crew here on the Berkeley side is, is all army. Yep. Uh, all three athletes that are on the mat all the training partners all the coaches everyone is, is WCAP. Uh, what's the experience like you know coming over as a crew like that, I mean, it's it's very unique. Yeah, uh, it's it's been awesome. Like I said, uh, I had called, uh, talks with Coach before all these guys even joined. You know um, how you know we can develop a developing a dynasty within our own room. You know, having the right guys, having the right leaders, and uh, mentorship, and getting everybody eventually. You know, a whole Olympic team, a world team, be you know world class athlete program. And 
It's beautiful. Um, you know, you know how the Army is. It's the biggest frat in the world, and the World Class Athlete Program is amazing. A um, lot of resources, a lot of people that are working long hours to for us to be able to do what we love. Um, and uh, you know, we're fighting for our country, right? Um, every time we we step on that mat, that's what we represent, and we get to do that together. And uh, it, the bigger picture is, uh, you know, it's bigger than ourselves, and it's always it always will be, and it's always ever been. And being able to do it with Dalton, being able to do it with Kamal, you know, being able to travel with these comp these big competitions with your brother with you is like, it's an awesome feeling, man. There's no feeling better than that. Um, I'm sure Penn State guys, you know, look at them in a the freestyle scene, how, how, mu how much they're dominating and they all get to do it together, you know. And uh, you get to build on, on that as a group. And, uh, you know, it definitely helps you when you're going to these competitions like that to know that you're competing alongside your brother. You know, not, not just, you know, a citizen, but a soldier and, a, and, and somebody that you actually train with, you know, one of your actual teammates. Um, that makes it all the much more better and all the much more worth it. And that's what I mean, like, when I'm talking about myself and, you know, seeing the, the foreseeable future and uh, seeing these guys keep competing and knowing that, you know, I can be a part of that, I can help them out, you know, we can win together. It, it, it's hard to, to, to leave that. So, uh, you know, I'm going to continue to, because there's still a world team trials that's coming up here uh, this year. So I got to, you know, I'm going to help my buddies out. Um, you know, be consistent in the room with these guys, continue to, you know, improve myself however I can, and then that's time chips away, you know, who knows what the future holds, so. Is there anything else you'd like to say to the people back home or anyone you're Oh, yes, for sure. Um, every single person, uh, I put a post out earlier, but I'm very grateful, you know, this whole entire journey, man, it takes a, you know, it takes a village, you know, um, like they say, and, uh, it's been a really, really long journey. It's been very tough. It's a lot of highs, a lot of lows, but uh, thank you. Every single person, every single fan, every single family member, every single friend, um, the whole entire Oak Park community, the whole entire Chicago community, world-class athlete program. Thank you guys for everything. I appreciate you guys. I love all of you. Every single person on my team, all the administrative people, you know, the whole chain of command. Thank you for everything that you guys do for me. Forever grateful um, and forever indebted to you guys. Um, Coach Powell, Coach Brian Mellon, Coach Lewis, Coach Spencer Mango, Coach Jermaine Hodge, Jamel Byers, every single person. Uh, I couldn't be more grateful and uh, more honored, you know, to be competing for whoever I'm competing for, the people that I'm competing for, and uh, I'm so blessed to be able to do it. And uh, last but not least, you know, the man above. I can't do anything without God. All things are possible through Him. Um, and uh, it's tough, man. Um, it's really hard. Uh, these last few years have been tough, um, you know. Uh, watching everybody compete and just trying to get back on the mat and get out there and uh, continue to be who I thought I was or who I know myself to be. Um, and uh, thank you, Timmy. Uh, Timmy, I'm not going to forget Timmy. Timmy Hands, he always uh, gives me positive, um, you know, feedback on everything and uh, he keeps me feeling like a champ. Uh, my family, my stepdad, you know, Coach Watsu. Just thank everybody, you know, for being there for me and uh, thanks.